Hello all. The topic we are going to discuss about is two-stroke engine. Uh, two-stroke engine, as the name itself implies, uh, all the process that takes place in this engine will take place in just two steps. That means within two uh, steps, two strokes, the entire process will be completed here. Uh, hence the name two-stroke engine. In the two-stroke engine, the openings are called as ports, whereas in four-stroke engine, the uh, openings were called as walls. Uh, these ports are provided in the place of walls in the four-stroke engines. One port is known as inlet port and the other port is known as outlet port or exhaust port. And there is also another uh, opening which is called as transfer port which transfers the fuel from the crankcase to the chamber. And here in the two stroke engine uh, as I already told there is no wall mechanism uh, so which simplifies the construction and lowers the weight of the engine. Hence uh, the two stroke engine has less weight compared to four stroke engine. The fire uh, which is introduced into the chamber is once in every rev revolution as compared to that of four stroke engine. That means here within two strokes, within two steps in one cycle, uh, the fire or the spark plug produces fire. The work, uh, the uh, two stroke engine works in any orientation. That means we can orient the engine in any orientation whereas four stroke engine cannot be uh, oriented in that way. So, these are the uh, introduction about a two stroke engine. And these two stroke engines are commonly found in lower power applications. Some of the devices that might have two stroke engine includes lawn and garden equipment, chainsaws, leaf blowers, trimmers and dirt bikes in mopeds, jet skies, small outboard motors, uh, radio controlled model planes. All these devices contain two stroke engine um, and other heavier vehicles such as car, truck, etc. contain four stroke engine. Before going to the working of two stroke engine, uh, let us see how the piston works, especially in the case of two stroke engine. The piston is doing three different things in a two stroke engine. Uh, first thing is uh, on one side of the piston is a combustion chamber. If the piston is placed in a cylinder, then the upper side of the uh, piston is called as combustion chamber, where the piston is compressing the air fuel mixture and that captures the energy released by the ignition of the fuel. And the bottom side of the piston contains crankcase where the piston is creating a vacuum to suck the air fuel mixture from the carburetor. Um, and then that is pressurized in the crank case so that the air fuel is forced into the combustion chamber through the transfer port. Um, and also other than these two things, uh, meanwhile the piston, the sides of the pistons acting as walls covering and uncovering the intake and exhaust ports uh, into the side of the cylinder wall. Now let us see the working of the two stroke engine. The first stroke or the first step in the two stroke engine is intake and compression stroke. As I already told uh, the four steps or the four strokes in the four stroke engine are also present in the two stroke engine but they are clubbed that means two strokes are clubbed together to make two stroke engine here uh, that means here in the two stroke engine uh, the first and second stroke 
of a four stroke engine that is intake and compression stroke are combined and the third and fourth stroke that is power and exhaust stroke are combined and thus uh, within the two movements that means once the piston moves down and upwards the entire cycle completes whereas uh, just to make you understand compare with the four stroke engine uh, in four stroke engine the piston has to move twice once the piston has to move downwards upwards downwards upwards so in that four steps in the four cycles the entire process completes whereas in two stroke engine the piston moves only once downwards and then upwards so that the entire cycle completes and uh, a crankshaft makes the rotation so in the first stroke intake or compression stroke the piston will be at the top dead center and air fuel mixture will be sucked into the crankcase just go through the diagram picture here this part is exhaust port and this part is inlet port or intake port so when the piston is at the top dead center that means at the upward position here through the inlet port air fuel mixture from the carburetor will be admitted into the crankcase and we can see here there is a another port third port that is transfer port through which the fuel will be transferred from the crankcase to the chamber the combustion chamber so in the first stroke the fuel will be admitted into the crankcase at the same time the fuel which was filled in the earlier step was compressed and the next stroke is power stroke and exhaust stroke in the next step the two stroke engine will undergo combustion and exhaust exhaustion simultaneously that means soon after the compression at the end of the first stroke here the spark will be produced so that the fuel will be ignited and due to which the piston is forced to move downwards so you can see here the shape of the piston when the piston is forced downwards at first the exhaust fuel will be forced out and in the right side through the transfer port the fresh fuel will be entering into the combustion chamber so what happens is here the forcing of the piston downwards which is power stroke and here escaping of fuel into the chamber from the crankcase takes place simultaneously that's how two stroke engine works within two strokes that means here two two strokes are clubbed together to make two steps hence the name two stroke engine thank you